That's you? That's me. Oh, the, the other members on that, there were two other semi-famous people on that team with me. Mm -hmm. uh, one of which um, is Alan Turing. He was the guy who broke the Enigma code in, 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 during the war. That was when I first began to think that I could uh, run a sub three at 70, which nobody else had done till then. And <clears throat> Then when I, first, when I tried it, when I reached 70, um, I didn't do it either. I, I ran 23 seconds higher than, than the three hours. And then I was injured and I didn't run again until I was I'd do another math until I was 72. So I was beginning to think the same jinx had happened to me as well. Canada Running Series 93, that was when Alan Brooks had a series of races, half a dozen races in, in Toronto and they kept points for places and I guess I won the um, 60, 60 year old category that year and that's what, it's still got beer in it. <laughs> you know if I, if I had run, if I had continued running and being properly trained when I was young uh, and had achieved more success than I did, uh, I probably wouldn't be running today. You know, for in, in that sense, um, um, I, I don't really regret uh, missing out any, on any opportunities when I was young. But I do often think, not often think, I do think on occasion, wonder, you know, what I might have done back then if, uh, if I'd had proper guidance and um, I hadn't had some of the little injuries that I had and uh, I hadn't come to Canada, you know, what, what would have happened then? I know other, say, other people who were, uh, um, that I was competitive with uh, in my school days, went on to, you know, to run in the Olympics and that sort of thing. It would have been nice. I would have liked to have run in the Olympics, but you know, that's all water under the bridge. <laughs> I don't run that many, many marathons. I've, um, Probably run about 40, just over 40 in my life. My life, so that only averages about one a year since I ran my first one. And the most I've ever run is three in a year. There's a lot of years I haven't run any. I wear them down to well past their due date. So my youngest son now on occasion has joined me on a run around the cemetery and I don't, in, I don't particularly welcome that because he generally runs about two paces in front of me and says, why are you running so slowly? Um, it's genes, I suppose, that's enabling me to keep going. You know, long levity. I suppose I must have some long levity genes. I, I certainly have a, obviously have a degree of perseverance and that sort of thing. But the main thing is just to look after the race coming up and to hope that you can keep running and uh, I hope to keep running until I'm 90 or beyond. Whether I'll be able to ever achieve the same degree of consistency of being able to run every day for a year on end remains to be seen.